Hi, this is Mike Morgan from Franklin Covey Software. Today we're going to be talking about project management and how to create a project. With projects, you can click on the project tab, and from here you can create a new project. Projects can be used for all kinds of things, for personal or professional. You can collaborate with other users, or you can use a project for just managing something for yourself. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and name the project. Now at this point, I can decide if I want to link this project to an existing customer or create a new customer. The little green box is for the organizations that you have in your database. The little looks like a customer is for the contacts in your database. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and link this project to John Doe, and I'm going to estimate the value. Now when it comes to these create fields in Plan Plus throughout the app, we can customize these to meet your business needs. Just reach out to the professional service team and let them know what you'd like to see or do. We can change the drop downs. In this case, it's a plan project at the priorities A. And at this point, I can assign it to one of the other users in the company or on my team. I can also estimate an end date and a start date. In this case, I'm going to end, or hopefully end the project on the 30th. And then I can state a vision for this project. Go ahead and hit submit. Now that I have the project created, I can decide what columns and what fields I'd like to see in the project. So in this case, I'm seeing description, ABC, flag, percentage, start date, due date, and duration. One of the things that I would like to see is the other the user that the project task is assigned to. So in this case, I'm going to right click, open my accounts tab, and this would have to be performed by an administrator of the application. I could then go down to my project section on the accounts tab, and I can look at the project summary table columns or the task view table columns. In this case, I want to look at the project summary table columns. And when I want to make sure that the columns that I'm looking for, actually, those ones are all there, then it's actually the task view table columns. And from here, you can see all the other columns that you can add to the project view. So I'm going to go ahead and add them all just so we can take a look at them all. Now that I've done that, um, I can now go back to my other tab. And here I am with my project, and I can just hit the refresh button or hit F5. And now I can see description, ABC, flag, percentage, start date, due date, duration, last touched, documents, owner, type, and status. Now I can create my tasks, and I can just hit the add button. Tasks can be independent, related to each other. They can be subtasks, so this could be a subtask. And to create that subtask, you just go ahead and hit the little arrow, and now it's a subtask of task. You can, when it comes to the task, you can complete a task, you can forward a task, you can delete a task, you can delegate a task, or you can mark it as in progress. One thing to note, the, on, the tasks are going to be in your projects, but they are not going to show up on your home page until you assign a date to it. So if I click on my home page here, you will see that there's no project tasks on my home page. Now if I go back, just click the back button, and I look at this project again, and I assign a date of today, a start date, and I go back to my home page, you will see now that that project task is on my home page, on my task list, ready to be worked on. It also has a link that allows me to see where the project is, how many tasks are in the project, and the progress of the project. I can also see the users that are available or have been given access to this project. This is a quick uh, introduction to projects. Thanks for participating, and I'll talk to you later.